People don't know how serious it got. Like, it was legit crazy scary. There were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. Well, Diddy's lawyers say that the freak off parties never happened because the government didn't put that in the indictment meaning there's no evidence of it. But celebrities sure are getting mighty nervous. There are all kinds of names being thrown around over the weekend. Pink and Usher having their ex accounts wiped, speculation rampant on who is involved in this. From Names from Oprah, J-Lo. The list goes on and on. So what can we expect? Well, former prosecutor Lionel joins us from the Lionel Nation channel on YouTube. Here's my defense. If I represented Diddy, I go out there and I can see it. I'm saying, look, he's a dirtbag. I understand the guns, drugs, you may not like this, but welcome to Hollywood. Diddy could say there's not one woman, one person that ever could have just walked out the door. I don't want somebody there who well, doesn't want to be there. Yes, that's exactly what his lawyer told CNN the day after he was arrested, that he interviewed everyone who was at these freak off parties and it was all consensual. And therefore it is limited to this group of, I guess they're calling them male toots. So many questions about this. It's like, why? What his lawyer should be doing is saying nothing, get to the bottom of this, and I'm sure he's already said, what do you want? What, how has he fallen out of favor? Who is it exactly that you're looking for? If you were to throw him in prison for the rest of his life, nobody cares. The industry is not cleaned up. It's one person, one victim. It's not a series of, you know, record labels and ABC. And it's just one guy in his organization. What are you, what's this really about? Federal case of this?